Hey, we're a finished ticket, and these are our first concerts. Uh, my first concert was uh, Live 105's BFD, which was a radio summer festival that the local radio station put on. Uh, I went in eighth grade with my friends, and uh, my friend's sister drove us, so it was my first time like not being with my parents at some weird hippie festival, so that was really special for me. Um, and I got to watch all these like pop punk bands like go at it and like you know break their gear and like spit in the air and do crazy shit. And I was like, wow, I want to be like this when I'm older. Um, luckily, I didn't turn out exactly like that, but you know, <laughs> went in that direction. So that's my tale. Not as exciting as Alex's. Wow, <laughs> pressure is on. Uh, my first concert, I think, was I saw Green Day. Uh, I think at their biggest hometown show they'd ever done to that point. It was on the American Idiot tour. I was 13 and I went with a bunch of other of my 13 year old friends and uh, two of our dads, they like all took us and uh, it was kind of like a seminal experience for me because Green Day was like my favorite band at that point, American Idiot was my favorite record and I just got to saw that, I just saw them like put on an incredible show and Jimmy Eat World opened which is also like another one of my favorite bands at the time. Um, so I don't know, it was just like an incredible moment to be like a hometown hero, you just like witnessed greatness, you know, so Green Day for life. Uh, I'm Brendan. Uh, uh, I think my first concert, maybe I was like 12, and I saw the Bridge School Benefit, um, which is just a big benefit show with a bunch of stars and different artists. Yeah, put on by Neil Young, right? Yeah, yeah. put on by Neil Young, yeah. And um, I don't remember the whole lineup, honestly, because that was a long time ago, but I do remember seeing uh, Bright Eyes there. And I loved Bright Eyes and Connor Oberst at the time, and my mom especially loved him and showed me all his records. and. Um, that was a very cool experience to kind of see it in person just after hearing everything with my mom in the car for years. <laughs> um, and yeah, so many other people. I remember Dave Matthews was there. Dave Matthews was there and he played a set acoustic after he had a really crazy night in Vegas and he couldn't reach most of the notes and it was really funny. He, he played it off very well. It was a great time. Yeah.